Hello, welcome back to the Indian Century. This video is going to give you more details regarding the Indian martial art Kalari Paitu. Its name can be roughly translated as a practice in the arts of the battlefield. Kalari training focuses on the use of the body's innate weapons like hands, feet, elbows and knees, enhancing practitioners with effective self-defense skills. The present-day techniques are inspired from the ancient combat ones of the Sangam period. Each village in medieval Kerala had its own Kalari, which contained a presiding deity known as Bhagavati or Paradevada. The art is taught in accordance with the Indian Guru Shishya system. It differs from many other martial art systems in the world in that weapon based techniques are taught first and bare handed techniques are taught last. Today, the students have arrived here for taking part in a Kalari Paita demonstration. As the initial step, they are seeking blessings from the Paradevada. Kalari Paita techniques are a combination of steps and postures. Postures are the foundations of its training. They are named after animals and are usually presented in eight forms. May Paita, a concept similar to Kata in Karate, is another technique. Traditionally, the number of May Paita may differ as per the teaching methods of the Guru. Training is usually done in four stages, the first stage being May Paita, followed by Koltari, practiced with wooden weapons, Angatari, practiced with metal weapons, and finally, Varumkai, bare-handed combat. Duarte Barbosa, a 16th century Portuguese explorer, has noted that the physical exercise complexes of Nair and Thea communities created a network of martial culture in Malabar from the medieval times. Thanks for watching. To watch more videos related to the rarest martial arts of India, subscribe my channel.